lesson number 13, tuning the horn. Knowing how to tune your instrument is a number one priority for all musicians, and the French horn is no different. But what does make this instrument different to tuning, especially from our other brass instruments, is that it has all of these slides that we can adjust to get our instrument in tune, as opposed to just one slide on most of the other brass instruments. Let's talk about a few things we need to check before we go to tune our instrument. Number one, make sure you have a good tuner. Today I'm using a physical tuner metronome combination, one of these guys. Um, you can also just download a free app on your phone. I recommend the Tonal Energy app because you can set it to French horn tuning so you can see your side or the notes the French horn is actually playing as opposed to concert pitch. Um, but it's super important that you have a tuner. Number two, make sure that you're warmed up because if we go in to tune our instrument cold, our amateur hasn't really warmed up yet and the instrument is gonna be cold. And remember, cold means flat normally and hot outside or hot instruments are gonna be sharper. So if you go to tune your instrument cold, it's gonna say it's flat and then as you play, it's gonna get sharper and then you're just gonna have to readjust. So always tune after you've done a good warm up session. And then number three and the most important thing and what we're gonna talk about today is knowing what slides to move because there are so many on the horn. So let's talk about what all these slides do. So let's say you've warmed up, you've got your tuner ready. What slide are we gonna move? So check the back of your horn. Okay, this is a double horn and we're gonna talk about tuning the double horn today. Um, if you only have a single F horn, then you're probably only gonna have one slide back here. And then you're also just gonna have one set of valve slides on the front. Okay, so that's a little more simpler. But on a double horn, we need to know which slide means what. The biggest thing you need to know on any horn is where is the main tuning slide? And on most horns, that's gonna be the slide that's connected to your lead pipe and your mouthpiece. So what you can do is you can put your finger on the mouthpiece and just follow that slide down until you get to that first slide. So this is my main tuning slide. And that means this is gonna be uh, um, affecting the entire instrument, both sides of the horn. So when it, goes to, when it comes to tuning, this is where we're gonna start. And if you need to just do a quick adjustment, this is the one you're gonna wanna move. Now on a double horn, there's probably another one on the back. This is my F tuning slide, okay? So this main tuning slide is gonna affect both the F and the B flat side of the horn. This tuning slide is gonna affect just the F side of the horn, okay, when I'm not using the trigger. And then what you need to know is where's your B flat tuning slide. Now on most horns, it's on the front and it's the slide that's gonna be connected to your um, trigger valve. So on my horn, it's this guy right here, okay? Um, on some horns, it's gonna be the one that's right next to where the um, F slides are but my horn's a little different. It has this extra one. This one can't really come out very far. Um, so this is the one I can use to adjust my B flat side of the horn. Okay, so now let's go to tune the horn. Um, you should always start with the B flat slide side first. Um, and to do that, we're gonna make sure we're pressing down our B flat thumb trigger. And when we tune either side of the horn, we just tune open notes. So open notes plus the thumb trigger. So we're gonna play our concert F. And before I do that, actually, I'm gonna push my main slides in the back down just so we can really hear that difference. So let me push down my trigger and play my concert F and see what the tuner says. Okay, so it's super, super sharp, which makes sense because I pushed my slides all the way in. So what I'm gonna do is on the back, since I'm tuning the B flat slide, I'm going to pull out my main tuning slide a bit because I was sharp. Remember, when you're sharp, you pull out. When you're flat, you push in. So I'm sharp, so I'm pulling out my slides. Let me play that note again. It's still pretty sharp, so I'm going to pull it out even more. And remember, I have this, this slide right here, my B flat tuning slide. Let me pull that out a bit as well. It was pushed all the way in. I'm still sharp, so remember, I got to be pulling my slides out. Let's try that note again. Okay, it's still pretty sharp, but it's not as sharp. So let me pull out even more. Okay, 
I'm still sharp, but as you can tell, my pitch is going down, which is good. So let me pull this out even more. Try that again. Okay, it's still pretty sharp, but that's the process you would follow until you got that note in tune. Okay, so once your B flat side is in tune, then we're gonna tune our F side. So remember, I was adjusting this main tuning slide for that B flat side, and that's gonna also be affecting the F side. So um, this is the F um, tuning slide, so now we're gonna be focusing on that slide. So I'm gonna still be playing my concert F in open position, but now I'm not gonna be pressing the thumb trigger down anymore because I'm not on the B flat side, now I'm tuning the F side. So let me play that open note on the F side of the horn and see what the tuner says. It's pretty close to in tune, it's just a little sharp. So let me pull that F tuning slide out in the back a bit. This one, I just pulled it out because I'm a little sharp. Let me try that note again. Okay, you can also check your concert C, so down a partial. And go down again. So those notes were a little flat, um, but that's kind of natural for a lower partial to go a little flatter versus sharper. So sometimes you want to know what your tendency is as a player and find that happy medium. But in general, I'm playing a little sharp, so I want to make sure my slides are out. Let me check it one more time. And there you go. Now I have the F side of my horn in two. So that's the basic way you want to be tuning your horn. Now in band class, you probably are tuning to a concert B flats and concert A's, which are not great notes on the horn to tune because they're not open. Um, but those are open positions on our other brass instrument friends. So um, it might be good to tune yourself on your open notes before um, the class warms all the way up on a concert B flat or concert A. All right, so that's the main way you wanna tune your horn. You can also get really particular with each of these slides um, on both the F and the B flat side of the horn. Um, and the way you would do that is you would just play some notes with just the first um, trigger down, just the second trigger down, um, two and three down and one and two down and play some notes that are close to the notes we just played. So we were tuning our C's. So you can go from C down to B natural, B flat, and see if those are in tune. So um, let's just check that. So what I would do is, let's say I wanna check my middle valve. So I play B natural. Okay, and that's a little flat. So I'm gonna push my middle slide in a bit. Okay, it's still a tiny bit flat, so I push that in. Then I could play my B flat to check my first valve slide. That one's also flat, so I'll push that one in a bit. And you would just continue that process checking notes that you play with just those, those valves. And then same thing, you do it on the B flat side, push that um, trigger down and check your combinations with these and you would adjust these. Remember that on um, most brass instruments, if you play valve combination one and two, the tendency of those notes is to be sharp. So for those, you're really gonna wanna adjust your embouchure and your right hand um, to get those in tune. And then two threes are gonna be flat. Um, so it's gonna be good to keep the third slide in a bit since this combination, you're probably gonna be flat if you play that on your instrument. Okay, so let's say you got your instrument in tune. What do you do next? Well, if you don't wanna forget where you tuned it, because you know, on any day, um, your tuning's gonna be a little different, but in general, this is probably the setup my horn needs to be in to be in tune. It's totally okay to take a pencil and mark a little pencil line on your slide so you can remember where that slide needs to go to be in tune. And that pencil is gonna just come off naturally over time. You should be cleaning your instrument a little regularly anyway, so you can always just wipe that off. Um, but that's not gonna do any real harm to your instrument. Something else to keep in mind once your instrument in, is in tune is that 
um, the temperature is gonna have a big effect on your intonation as well. So if you're rehearsing in a really hot room, um, your instrument's probably gonna be sharper. So you're gonna wanna have your slides out a little bit more. If you're playing outside on a cold day, your instrument's probably gonna be flatter. So you might wanna push your slides in a little bit farther than when they normally go. And the other really huge thing to remember about intonation on the French horn is that right hand. Okay, your right hand has the most immediate effect on your intonation as you're playing more than where your slides are, okay? So if you're playing really, really sharp, okay, then you can stick your hand in a little bit more or close your hand up a little bit um, because the more open we play, with our hand, then the sharper our horn's gonna be. And that's why we shouldn't play with our hand like this. Because if we're holding our instrument like this, it's completely open and I'm gonna be playing everything sharp, okay? So remember, if you're playing and your notes are all pretty sharp, stick your hand in a little bit farther. If you're playing and everything's flat, bring your hand out a little bit farther to sharpen up your instrument and hopefully get in tune. So never forget that mysterious right hand is gonna have a huge effect on your intonation on the horn. So there's a quick little tutorial on how to tune your horn. Remember, every horn is different. It doesn't hurt to do a Google search on your specific brand and model and how you're gonna tune that instrument. If you look below this video on the website, there is a link to a really good article about how to tune your horn with some pictures on different um, horn models as well that label all those different slides for you. Um, and I hope that cleared some things up about tuning the horn. I will see you in lesson number 14.